All right, in this video, let's get started with some code setup. As you can see, I have created a folder called React Material UI and opened VS Code inside that folder. This folder is going to be our workspace for the rest of the series. Now to learn Material UI, we're going to learn it with TypeScript as opposed to plain JavaScript. If you're not comfortable with TypeScript, you don't have to worry as this will serve as a learning exercise. So we first need a React app that is configured specifically for TypeScript. Luckily for us, Create React App provides a TypeScript template we can use. So in the terminal, run the command npx create React App React hyphen MUI hyphen demo, which is the project name, followed by dash dash template space TypeScript. Once the command completes, you should see a new folder, React MUI Demo. To run this application, first navigate inside the project folder. So cd React MUI Demo, and now run the command yarn start or npm start. The command will open the browser on localhost port 3000 with your basic React TypeScript application up and running. Our next step is to install the Material UI package. If you head over to materialui.com and click on Get Started, under Installation, you can see the command to run with either npm or yarn. I am going to copy the yarn command. Back in VS Code, in a new terminal, navigate inside the project folder once again and paste the command. Yarn add at MUI slash material at emotion slash react at emotion slash styled. Here, MUI slash material is the core material library which provides us with ready to use components and Emotion is a library designed for writing CSS styles with JavaScript and is the default styling solution used with version 5 of Material UI. We will see more of this styling solution later on in the course. Go ahead and run the command. Once the command completes, the libraries should be listed as a dependency in package.json. All right, with the packages now installed, I'm going to make small changes to ensure we are ready to learn our first Material UI component in the next video. Within the source folder in app.tsx, I'm going to remove the header content and also the unnecessary imports at the top. In the source folder again, I'm going to create a new folder called components. I'm going to leave this empty. All right, now that we have a React app with Material UI installed, in the next video, let's take a look at typography in Material UI.